welcome to Sunday the 14th of July. Boom boom! <laughs> there we go. Date got it straight away there. It is the 14th, it is July, it is Sunday and the sun is peeking in and out today. We have no rain. There we go. Okay, so we woke up this morning to the news of, well actually I got it through as a message from Terry. First thing this morning when I woke up I saw that somebody tried to assassinate Donald Trump. Okay, they did not succeed. But anyway, that's all. We don't do politics here on this channel. So that's that. I can't kind of pretend it hasn't happened, you know. Today, England are in the finals. So tonight at 8 o'clock, we shall see if they are bringing it home. So that's that about everybody else. Now back to me. <laughs> Most of you will already know and have seen that I have had the treatment done on my hair and if you've been with me for a wee while, you know I get this done whenever I remember to get it done. Apparently it lasts for three months. I think it actually lasts longer on me because I don't wash my hair often. I only tend to wash my hair once a week because I don't see the point because I go to the gym every day every day I get sweaty so there's absolutely no point so I've had an ASP super smooth treatment on my hair it's an amino acid which is a protein and all of that so it just it takes the frizz out of my hair it doesn't make it straight straight but it smooths it out um, and that's why my cunnock colour is looking a bit weird so you should really get it done just before you due to get your colour done but the way it's worked out for me is so my colour would be due next week to get the greys done so I thought fine I'll get the treatment done this week let it settle in for a week because you're not supposed to get your hair wet for 24 hours no 48 hours after you've had this treatment done so I thought I had it all well implanted and this is my hair just, just put me in next week for my colour whilst I'm here and she was like I'm away on holiday and I'm like oh no there's other girls at the salon that can do it but just we just hold off a week she's just let it you know just use your spray which I kind of sprayed a wee bit here just now because the craze has started to come through anyway so that's why my hair is looking like orangey again I think the last time I got it done was October time I think when Luke was moving in because I remember doing a vlog and kind of using the thumbnail as the colour of my hair it's a crazy colour I woke up this morning and I think it kind of developed more overnight because I woke up this morning I was like oh wow wow but anyway that's that done oh so after I went to the hairdressers I went to Primark you know that little Primark because my hairdressers is you know when I showed in the last vlog a little town that's falling apart uh, my friend Watts for Tea who has a channel a big channel um, but I'm sure you all know that uh, but I'll link it down below anyway um, commented that the last time she was here was about 10 years ago and it was like it was a bustling wee town and it really was and now it's just it's dead it's dead they're talking about just pulling it all down pulling the town centre down and just building houses so yeah anyway so I popped into Primark and um I bought a couple of things but let me show you let me show you what I bought. the first thing I bought not from Primark from Boots was a new nail varnish I needed a, a new bright everyday red because I didn't want to keep using my Hermes one which I love um but just like an everyday one so I'm testing this to see as well um how long it will last on my nails so I painted them yesterday it has drawn back slightly at the edges you know I suppose right now like I've said because I have I had um acrylics on for a year my nails are not you know at their best just now and the nail varnish just peels off it just completely peels off so I've kind of been using these the Barry M ones just for the colour I'm going to do a favourites video that's why they're all sitting there um but they peel off so I'm waiting to see if this has lasted okay but like I said there is a bit of a slight drawing at the edge so that's what I have on my nails it's number seven it says gel finish nail colour they retail for about $7.99 and what colour is it? It's pillar box. 
pillar box right there. So, do you know the other thing is I was thinking of doing, or I would like for you to do so. Quite a lot of you like it when I do these little Aldi hauls. So, I think I'm going to do one, or at least the next one I do, and I'm going to make sure I put the prices of the things. And then you can all send me wee videos that I can upload onto the channel with your little food hauls or whatever, giving me the pricing as well. And then we can kind of compare in, you know, the pricing of things in different countries. Do you think that's a good idea? I think that's a very good idea and I would love for you to do it. So the way you do that when you film, you need to have your phone this way round, okay? So make sure it's this way round, not this way round. It has to be this way round. And send it to me via Instagram. And my Instagram is always, always, always linked below in my description box those of you that have already sent me videos in the past i fully expect for you to send me videos of your food hauls or whatever and then we can compare prices and things making sure you see which supermarket you use why you like that supermarket is it because of the price is it because of the quality blah 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 and then we can do we comparisons and show them on the channel right okay let's go back to what's in my long shop which is my favorite bag for the hairdressers it's worry free bag yeah, no, I've said it before a million times. Do you know, my hairdresser doesn't really have a place to put your bag. She doesn't really have hooks. You don't really have a table or anything. There's nothing really you can rest a bag on. Only on the chair next to you. So this is one I don't worry if I'm sitting on the floor. I'm not really going to panic a great deal if something splatters on it. So that's why I prefer to take this bag and um it fits lots of things for example my great big book which i was reading at the hairdressers to the point so this product has to be on my hair for about 40 minutes i was so engrossed in my book that when she said right okay it's time to wash it off and i was like what already she goes well that was 40 minutes that's anyway i'm sure you all know which books i am reading so it's this one this is the third one a court of wings and ruin and by the way they actually get better and better and better i said that about the second one when i started this one i was like mm, you know how much further can this story go you know i was thinking how much further does it go but if you've read the second one you know how much it changed from the first one people it honestly gets better and the battery is flashing at me okay so whilst in Primark I showed these on the last vlog so I picked them up they are Rita Ora shorts they are 14 pounds so it's nice casual there we go kind of combat type I like them because you know the amount of sunshine we have here in Scotland people <laughs> so um picked this little thing up and I think this is ideal for just throwing over it's just a little dress 10 pounds I've got another one of these similar to this and even like so even if you're in Cyprus or in a very hot country when you come in and you just don't want anything clingy or anything like that or whilst you're getting ready perfect just a wee lazy dress like you know we would put our dressing gown on over here but it's far too hot for a dressing gown over there there we go and I thought as this kind of print is very in just now I went for that and they have lots of different prints in that okay I'm gonna change my battery and then I'll carry on with what else is in here I'm back right so what else is in here I have my Garnier my cellar a cleansing water pick that up from Boots this is a smaller one than the one I've just finished which is in my empties which is another video I'm planning to film today so this is the rose water one um 
removes makeup, cleanses, glow, enriched with illuminating rose water face, eyes, lips, no rinse. So I use that as a toner as well. So I picked that up. Should we, will I tell you how much that was and then we can compare pricing? Let's see. Okay. That's not mine. I have found my receipt. So the Garnier water um, was originally priced at $8.99 and because I've got a Boots card, I was charged $5.99 for it. There we go. So, I made a saving of what, £3? That's that. And like I said, that was seven ninety five and that was its original price okay i also picked up my shampoo and conditioner because now that i have had that treatment on my hair i have to make sure that the shampoo and conditioner that i use is sulfite free these were also reduced so this is the oh i don't even know how you pronounce this ogs ogs is it oggy is it oggy that's what they look like okay that's what they look like right there and they are sulfate free and that's why i get them and these are the ones for colored hair there we go so they were priced at let's see so the original price of them was 7.99 each and I got them for £5.32, again, because I had my Boots card with me. So, a saving of five thirty-four for them. There we go. What else did I get? I think that's it. That's all I bought yesterday. So, what else is in my bag? My cardigan, oh, did it mean, which is all creased, which I had on yesterday over my T-shirt. These are my little vouchers from Boots that they send me through the post so, you know, I can earn extra points because points mean money. <laughs> and I had my little cosmetic pouch with me and in there, oh, people, in there, my hand cream, tip tacks, just in case, you know, I don't really eat things like that, but sometimes, as you can see, I do take one just when you sometimes you just need i need i need to refresh what's going on in here people and um especially when you're a coffee drinker so sometimes these are sugar free you know i don't like sugar free things either but you know tiny little things tic tacs i have my chanel brush lip brush i have my little atomizer i sprayed that actually and i, I don't know i think there's just a mixture of perfumes going on in there lip balm chanel lip balm okay we all know what that looks like got my little chanel mirror the red one Um, i had my nail file in there as well but i actually took it out that it's there to do my favorites i'm telling you my favorites on this what's in here oh this is just a little sample of dior foundation just in case i need to touch up sometimes at the hairdressers you know when they're washing it they wash my makeup away just in case i was going anywhere then it's just i've just got little lip glosses here a chanel one an estee lauder one and a vive one there we go i think they're just in a little hook because it's a nice small one i keep it in there as well and then there's always like a little sewing kit and bits and pieces in their toothpicks because you know when you get to a certain age you need toothpicks all the time people you get gaps and you take this one specific tooth that I have, which I'm actually, I'm putting off going to the dentist for up here. I think there's just a little bit of too much space going on and things get trapped. And then I feel as if I've got toothpick, but it's actually because something's got trapped. So that oh, my sanitizer was in there as well. That's that. We'll just throw that back in there and then my sarah wallet my big wallet brilliant wallet because you can just fit your whole life in there people it's and everything is organized this is one i like that's one i like to travel with as well and then in here i had my camera and my battery which i have just used because i'm talking to you and i had to change the batteries so i've got the other one charging i'll just leave that out and i'll put it away because i'm actually gonna empty it and put everything away and then clear my table because i need to it's just it's like a it's like a wee 
I don't need it. It's just it's an inhaler, just in case you don't know. Right. And that's the receipt for the other items. So that's the long shot empty. I'm now going to put the pillow that I'm sitting up on. That's why I was so high up <laughs> that I am sitting on back in there and put it away and then get organized. Oh no, 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 no. I had something I needed to chat with you. I came across a video, people, and it involves none other than Tamara Kalinic. Is that her name? <laughs> Wait till I find that video and we'll chat. Actually, let me go get a glass of something nice and we'll have a bit of our little chit chat, shall we? Yes, we shall. I'm back and I've got an update on the nail varnish for you people. Look, look, literally, look. This is what happens, right? And the only one that hasn't happened with is Hermes. I got the longest wear out of that. Like, I'm not talking weeks on end or even a week because I cannot keep nail varnish on for a week. So, but yeah, that's the longest wear. But the rest, they just peel off like that. But I don't have time now to do all my nails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove the one <laughs> without tr damaging the rest and tidy it up. Oh, this is honestly, honestly. And I'm keeping my nails short so to get rid of all the bad nail and let the good nail grow up. I'm not letting them grow long. Just keeping them a kind of that length that they are now, which is actually a nice length. So, honest, oh, I've got, and that's one of those ones that kind of get the red all over like your skin. The Hermes doesn't do that either. Yes, I know the number seven one is seven ninety nine, okay, and the Hermes one is forty five pounds, but there is a difference. The Chanel ones are not much better people either. Uh, right, well, my, I'm, I, need to, I need to clean that red stuff off. And then I'm gonna talk about tomorrow. Okay, thumbnail sorted. Right, let's go to this video. I've actually just done a shorts video on it. So you might have seen it. You might already know what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's this young lady here, uh, Stephanie. I'm going to link the original video down in my description box if you want to go and have a look at it. But it is titled, people, and this is when we talk about, you know, the titles and the thumbnails catching you. I've never heard of this young girl before. She's got, uh, she's got over a million um, subscribers, but I've never seen her. But somehow this, this video popped up in my feed. And you know, I had to stop people. There is no way I wasn't going to stop when there was a title like an influencer is trying to silence me. People, I'm thinking, can I get away with using that title for this video? Can I? Woof. Anyway, so apparently Tamara, Kal I can't remember. What, was, what did we say her name was? Clinic? Kalinic, Kalinic, Tamara Kalinic, who I really, really enjoy. Okay, so she's a, oh, she's a what is she? She is a, a major influencer up there, right at the top. She is Tamara is like right up there. She she models for all the top designers. She's now got a husband who absolutely, uh, no, she's not got a husband yet, what am I talking about? A fiance, she's got a fiance, they're planning their wedding, who is who just adores her. Do you know that type of man that you think just does not exist? Well, he's, he exists for tomorrow, he says all the right things, all the perfect things. He's got a, he's very manly looking, but very feminine as well. He's got this big beard and Anyway, I'm sure you all know this, right? So, and she's always she's always mentioned in her videos when you watch her videos about 
you know, you know the behind the scenes how some influences are not very nice people. I've been eating nuts, by the way. And she says one day she's gonna, if she can, she'll share the stories. Blah 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 blah. And she seems like a very very nice person. I don't know her people. I see on the screen what you see on the screen, okay? But this Stephanie. Like I said, her video will be linked below. And this is all allegedly and all done and said for entertainment purposes. Nothing, people, is based on any facts whatsoever apart from me watching this video. Okay? So, she says she had... So, Tamara, or her team, had her video taken down because she spoke about tamara and about the luxury basically it was about luxury youtubers and promoting all this all this people all of this <laughs> and uh, they obviously didn't like it and they took it down but this is also another uh, is she an influencer she doesn't kind of say she's an influencer does she how does she describe herself let's see how she describes herself if you're after a straight talking tough loving hype girl who wants you to live your best most confident and happiest life then you've come to the right place here we celebrate our differences um our individuality our quirks our weirdness she sounds a bit like me doesn't she <laughs> she's a young version of me Anyway, just thought I would share that with you. I was taken aback because sometimes, allegedly, people, Tamara does come off as too perfect. Okay? It just, you know, it's that type of influencer. And I like her. Like I said, I like her. But just perfect. And perfect does not exist actually that's not quite true because she does she no that that's that's not true i take that back because actually when i think back she talks about she does she talks about things in her life that aren't perfect as well so i suppose we all take what we want from a video which is what i've always said but anyway yeah so tamara had stephanie's video taken down because Stephanie was sharing parts of Tamara's video footage on her video so I just thought I would share that with you and I thought it would make a great thumbnail for me and a title but at this point in time I still don't know what the title is going to be or the thumbnail anyway it is Sunday like I said my youngest has just arrived and um, for dinner and football so I'm going to go and say hi <laughs> and then I'm going to come back and film People, <laughs> I'm supposed to be filming a favourites and man, you should see what is going on. I, I need to, I need to do this. I need to do my empties because it is looking ridiculous. Like yeah, it's looking like like filth. <laughs> it's looking like filth. That's how it's looking. Things have already fallen down the back, which means on Tuesday when I'm cleaning upstairs and I need to move this all this is gonna fall so I need to get this filmed desperately also I've just sat there the whole time with what lipstick on my nose nail varnish on my nose I don't know must have been lipstick because it just wiped away am I gonna delete the footage no so yeah I do know about that mark on my nose <laughs> and if you didn't see it you're obviously gonna go back and see it now that's what happens when you start talking about people. It's called them. Um, what goes around comes around. <laughs> and it normally comes and it smacks you straight in the face. And in my case, right on my nose. There's my baby boy. Hi, Hi son. What, are you having a coffee? Having one of your organic coffees. coffees. Don't drink my organic coffee, so nice coffee drink, drink the skit that is that oh can you tell us because somebody was asking right like if it actually tastes like coffee yeah, it tastes like coffee it's just that the caffeine it's not weak, but mm, just at the well you should have put less it's water in it it's organic it's not decaffeinated oh that's right <laughs> i'm getting the two confused I it was meant to be a lingo 
That's a long go. That's it, but it's quite weak, I think. But it's nice. I'm a bad man, my was a little bit longer. Are they? I'd say they'll be a bit longer. Hello and welcome to the 17th of July. I am just back from Aldi's after being at the gym and I've been out playing with Lily and I've put out the washing and I'm going to do an Aldi haul with you. Um, it's one year to the day when Maria and Dane got married. Congratulations on surviving the year. So yeah, one year ago we were in Cyprus. Okay, it's dry today, so I thought I'd start off the vlog out here. Rico has finished painting my little chair and table, which I like to sit at in the morning. Um, this is going to get, this is all the rubbish here. It's all going to get thrown out. This seat is done. It's, it's even past kind of painting it. And the table here, which is now just housing my plants. My little vegetables, it's my little work table at the moment. These two pots, the double begonias that I got didn't survive. This one and this one here. Anyway, I brought some extra bedding plants, but these ones, these two here, are doing really, really well. Look at that. Look at them, beautiful. So these are all gonna drop down, <laughs> trailing. That's the word I'm looking for, they're trailing. There we go, now just starting to trail. Right, let's go and uh, do the Aldi haul and don't forget. I need you to do your shopping hauls with me as well. So, I still have my hair, I haven't washed my hair. I just, I take it out of the tie when I'm finished working out, but that's it, still not washed. So the colour's due this week, but I'm not getting it done because my hairdresser's away. Can't remember if I've told you all this, but I'm telling you again. Right, let's do pricing. Let me turn this right there. If you see the washing machine is open, that's because that's what I do. Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to close off your washing machine. Okay, so I went to Aldi's and with receipt in hand, on the items that I'm going to show you now, I spent... A grand total of 44 pounds and 20 pence okay there's no actual dinner here or anything like that for dinner we are having leftover kifteris which are meatballs so yesterday Rico made some kifteris in the air fryer and today it's just gonna what's left make up a tomato sauce to go over them and then a nice salad and then I bought some mushrooms which you shall see right let's start and I know I've not to tap things, which I tapped a lot in my empties video, which was the video that was an absolute nightmare to upload. People, crazy. It was my laptop was playing up and I had to do some things to it, which I didn't really know how to do. But I got, I eventually got round, I eventually worked it out. So basically there was a few videos, um, a few projects that I couldn't delete, wouldn't allow me to delete, so I needed to go into Finder and into iMovie and oh, it was a long process, but I got it and I managed it and I deleted them eventually, so I was up really late last night and then it uploaded last night, but only half of it uploaded, oh, but it wasn't saving. So anyway, I was up the early hours of this morning. I was basically sitting at the computer at six o'clock this morning and I got it all done and dusted before I left for the gym. So I got it uploaded, I got all the tags in, the description, the links and all of that. Okay, back to the Aldi's, Aldi haul. So remember, I'll do mine, I'll give you the pricings of it and then you can share yours with me, send me the video through my Instagram and I'll share it here on my channel and we can compare okay it doesn't have to be the exact same stuff but just so we can kind of get a rough idea of of pricing now bearing in mind aldi's is probably one of the most inexpensive food stores i say food store but i come out of there with all sorts of things people um so yeah it's not your high-end food store but people, I think that the things are good. Let's no, go, Andre. No tapping, but I need to point at things. I'm not, <laughs> I need to point at things. Okay, we have cucumbers here at 190. Oh, one more thing. 
Um, when you walk into Aldi's, I'm sure other stores do this as well. I didn't actually know this because I don't really do like proper food shopping. But Rico said to me, when you walk into Aldi's, there's like the front counter of fruit and veg that they have is always reduced. It's like their offer of the week, like five of, you know, they select five and those five are offers of the week. And I think I got the tomatoes and the cherries from that counter and that was it that i wanted they had other things like spring onions radishes and all things like that that i didn't need so bearing in mind when i get to the tomatoes and the cherries they were reduced so we have a baby cucumbers 190 a box so i got two of them then we have this big tub of peanut butter so this is just peanuts as you can see natural oil separation 100% nuts right blah 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 give me a stir <laughs> I always do but somebody said to me to kind of store it upside down and keep turning it over so the oil doesn't all sink you know when you open it up and there's a whole load of oil okay peanut butter 3 99 absolute bargain okay I get the unwaxed lemons so they are slightly dearer and they are 95 pence for one, two, three, four lemons. I got some mushrooms, which I'm going to add to today's dinner. So I'm going to stuff them with some French cheeses, which you'll see that I bought today. So just wash them and put some cheese in them and put them in the air fryer as a wee extra with our meatballs today. So they were 99 pence for that packet there. Then I have the Walker's Crisp, so this is a 12 pack, so this is not an Aldi's make, this is a Walker's make. And we've got three cheese and onion, two ready sorted, two salt and vinegar and three prawn cocktail. Rico and I really don't eat things like that now, um, but I like to have them because, you know, sometimes you have guests when you don't expect them. And um, I have grandchildren, so that um bag that 12 variety bag was 2.99 there we go so we have here cashew nuts so the cashews were 175 for how much is in there for a 200 gram bag okay of cashew nuts so these are plain these are the ones that i like to roast myself in the air fryer and that's what i like to snack on then we have almonds again 175 and again it's a 200 gram bag again just plain almonds nothing added or done to them then i have my walnuts which i like to add to my yogurt i'm trying to read the receipt that's why i'm going quite slow so the walnuts are 269 i got two bags of walnuts if i do forget and tap do forgive me but it's just in my chemistry people it's the way i'm made next we have blueberries they are 538 a box there we go 538 is that right or is that for two that sounds awful dear that must be for two people it's got to be for two because that's a lot so that must be for two 538 and so 250 gram i've got two of them there we go and then we have some goat's cheese right here, which I'm going to use to stuff the mushrooms with. So that was $1.99. So then we have some blackberries, $3.58, and there's two of them. So I'm assuming they were for two at $3.58. Then we have the baby plum tomatoes. They were 99 pence, so that was, you know, in the special deals. And do we have a weight for them? we must have a wait for them so it says size 20 to 30 millimeters 325 grams then we have the cherries again they were the special deal 99 pence the bargain isn't it 200 grams right there and then we have the brie just there and that was 2.99 and then we have some summer bedding plants which I've already told you I'm going to be adding to the pots at 2 99 So there we go. Actually, no like real dinners there. Just 
mostly it's like kind of snacky food isn't it and it came like I said to 44 pounds and 20 pence there we go without any tapping I hope and if I did do it I didn't mean to do it right now let me get my apple cider vinegar bum, bum, bum. Ooh, I'm gonna need another one. Oh no because I already got a spare one what one am I using just now apple cider vinegar with mother organic that's the one I'm using right now so I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna whilst I'm drinking that I'm gonna get my yogurt and everything ready so yeah 